This is the DC power input for a Fostex X55. I've made a video before, I think demonstrated it on a Tascam 414 showing that the force of the plug going in and out of this can break the solder pads. And so most of the time what you can do is just introduce some fresh solder. I also think maybe a video on the 464 I showed using little jumper wires um, to go over broken bits of track. So sometimes, you know, heat or just the way it's been stored the copper layer that's on top of this printed board will lift up you know usually in very thin parts of the track um, here we've got something else i've already done the repair maybe i should have filmed it as i went along but anyway actually the force went right down into the circuit board there so there's an entire chip that came out um, so first of all I glued that back on and you can see where I've tried to solder a jumper you know this is a the leg of like a you know transistor or something that I've cut off and um, so I keep the little bits of scrap metal around for that purpose and so I've tried to kind of bridge it around here um, you can see where I've scraped away this green non-conductive paint to get at the copper beneath. Uh, but that still wasn't working. So what I've opted to do instead, and this is an option if your PCB is really badly damaged, what you can do is just get bits of scrap wire, strip off two ends, put a blob of solder on the two points that you're going to, heat it up, you know, push the end of the jumper wire in, hold it until the solder cools and do that at both ends so that I've now got continuity from there to there and then that means that you know all these pins around here that are meant to be connected to the positive pin of this DC input jack are connected so that should work nicely now 